Marahil po marami sa atin ang gumagamit ng word search puzzle sa ating klase. In here, may we develop vocab among learners, also strengthen the foundation sa spelling, at syempre, this boosts our learners' working memory. So this is the icon for the free word search puzzle maker. So based po dito, mapapansin po natin na may tatlong buttons. Ayan, we have the words button, we have the word search, and the help. Ito lang po, makikiusap lang po. Sana ako to please focus on the screen po. Like for example, I am a language teacher. So I'm gonna be tackling the adjectives. So ang mangyari lang po dito sa words button, you just simply type 10 words. So meron na, ganito lang po siya kasimple. Ulitin ko lang po. Ayan. Approachable. So ang gagawin lang po natin dito, just simply encode or type 10 words depending on your expertise. Like for example, you are a teacher in values education. Pwede for this process, pwede po kayo mag-type ng good manners. Kapag sa computer naman po, pwede mga hardware nila. Like for example, you are done already typing and encoding those 10 words. So, focus po tayo sa screen. Dito po sa words button, may mapapansin po kayo sa tabi nito, the right side is the orange one, which is the word search button. Kindly click it po. There you have it. And you may say that there's a blank space. So, what we're gonna do, and nevertheless, you simply click the generate button dito po sa baba po. Alright, so lahat po ng ating in-encode dito sa words button, mapapansin natin na it already occupies dito po sa space na ito. Ayan. So with that, para hindi po natin makakalimutan, after clicking the generate, it's already occupied with that space, kindly save your work po. Where? Saan po ba? Ayan, dito po tayo. So at the right side of the generate button, this is the save as image button. Ang gagawin po natin, i-click lang po natin siya para i-save po natin. So mapapansin po natin na kung bakit dito sa desktop ko po siya i-save para mas madali ko po natin siyang hahanapin. So for this task, I am going to use my name as a file name. So since April in, ayan, April in, then I'm gonna click save. I-check po natin kung na-save nga po siya doon sa desktop. Hayan na po siya. Ayan po yung nabuo natin. Pagka-click po natin ng generate. So, babalikan po natin ulit. So, dito po sa baba, mapapansin po natin na may print button. Pwede rin po natin siyang i-print for the sake of the individual activities of our learners. So, kung gusto po natin na may set A, set B, set C, just simply click generate button. Hayan, another set na naman po. Kung gusto po natin i-save, Click save as image. So, lagay natin halimbawa set A. Doon po sa desktop ulit. Ayan, para mas madali po natin hahanapin. Check po lahat natin kung nandun nga po siya. So, that's the output for generating. So, we can another generate for set B. Ayan, another set po ulit. Isi-save po natin siya ulit for set B. Ang bilis. So, we're gonna save it in desktop. Kung nandun nga po siya, andyan si set B. Check po natin. So we have the first one, which is my, I use my file name. Then the second one, we have the set A. Another one, we have set B. So may tatlo na po tayong set. So while clicking or hitting the generate button, it gives you limitless group. So mapapansin po natin na same one to ten words, but Clicking or hitting the generate button, mabibigyan po tayo ng iba't ibang set or group ng activities with the same using of words. So makikinta po natin na just a snap of our fingers, parang magic, andyan na agad-agad. Hindi na po tayo mahihirapan na mag-prepare kung ilang oras man yan, gugulin tayo ang daming effort and time. But just using with this word app, makapibilis po tayo. But remember, don't forget to save your work or out. I hope everyone nakasunod po tayo. I would like also to show with you my output. Ayan. So, pwede po natin siyang i-print dahil po sa lumabas kanina, I prepared already a very simple template. You can use this one. I hope you 
see this in my screen. So Republic of the Philippines, DEPA, Division of Law Union, just a simple one. You can also modify your own. Bawang North District, Kinabiti Elementary School. Halimbawa, ito po ay first quarter, and I'm teaching English for, for region work number one. Ito na po yung set A. So a simple direction, cross out the 10 adjective words. Halimbawa, ito na po yung nagawa natin, na-paste na po natin dyan. May sample po ako dito na sinagutan na po ng ating mga estudyante. Remember, we have 10 words. Same 10 words na hahanapin po ng ating estudyante. And dyan na po yung set B. And another one, we have set C. I hope you are enjoying our session, dearest teachers, dearest educators.